Let's talk about this Demetrius Andre boogeyman myth. One of the biggest jokes in boxing in recent memory. So, look, Eddie Hearn, right? If if you're having an issue promoting this guy, getting him fights, well, maybe you're the problem also. Maybe the guy you're promoting is a problem also. Maybe. I mean, just look at his history. Look at your history. Have you been able to bring us the biggest fights? Hmm? Anyway. Eddie Hearn's all right, don't get me wrong, but uh, whatever. Let me take a sip of my coffee before we get into this. So, way back in the day, Demetrius Andre was offered by Showtime 750 grand. Had an offer on the table, right, to fight Jermall Charlo. Jermall, the little one, Jermall. But he decided to believe that Rock Nation would give him 500 grand not to fight Charlo and to fight a lesser opponent and he was going to get a contract with Rock Nation. Word of mouth. Didn't have a contract offer on the table. Didn't have anything. Didn't sign anything. They just said, allegedly, someone at Rock Nation told him this. So he ducked Charlo. Now... Fanboys made excuses for him, and I guess it was kind of excusable or whatever. But but it told you everything you needed to know about the guy's character. He was willing to take a promise of less money to fight a bum. Nothing on paper, nothing concrete, just 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 a promise from somebody. We're going to give you less money to fight a bum than to have a solid fight against. A solid opponent for more money from a proven entity in in the boxing world. Contract on the table. He said no to that and went after a promise to fight a bum for less money. And got fucked. He ducked Charlo. End of story. Then he was... I don't know if I'm going to get all this in order, but whatever. He was ordered to fight Matt Korobov, right? For the WBO title. Ducked. Refused. Then, he was offered the Erislandi Lara fight. Ducked. Refused. And then most recently, he was offered the Johnny Big fight. He was ordered to fight these fights. I'm not sure if all of them, but definitely the Johnny Big one. The Korobov was ordered. Uh, I think the Charlotte fight may have been also by the WBO. Ducked. Refused. So, so how the fuck is he the boogeyman when he's ducking and dodging all these fights? Do, do you think, maybe, I don't know, maybe, the fact that it's difficult to make fights with this guy, that he's a cherry picker and a ducker, right? Maybe that's why some guys ain't fighting him. Now, don't get me wrong, there's probably some guys out there, Canelo, okay, fair enough, I don't give a shit, that ducked him, you know what I mean? I guess, or refused to fight him, however you want to put it. Yeah, but so what? There's a lot of divas in boxing and, and they duck each other. Just because you're ducked by someone, that doesn't erase the fact that you ducked at least four guys. Four prominent fighters. That would have enhanced, <laughs> that would have got your ass beat. If, if he went two and two in, in those four fights, I'm fucking Mother Teresa. I don't think he would have. And as soon as he ducked, Jamel Charlo, who at the time was, you know, we didn't really know too much about him yet. They both struggled. I thought Dimitris Andre personally beat um, Marta Rosian, and I thought Charlo lost to Marta Rosian. So that would have been an interesting fight, right? But I think it was the Marta Rosian knockdown that made that turned Dimitris Andre into a cherry picker and a ducker. He started avoiding fighters, cherry picking. Beefing with this promotional company, right? Looking, he was just looking for the most money for the bummiest opponents he could find. That's just been the MO with this guy. So to, for years, have people tell me that this guy is some kind of a boogeyman that nobody wants to fight just because Canelo 
decided to fight better fighters than him. <laughs> Whatever. Canelo's a fraud anyway. So fuck that guy. He doesn't do real fights. Um, it's just insane. The amount of cope, cap, delusion, insanity, lying. I guess that's cap. Shout out to all the coomers. You're so influential. I mean... <laughs> It just boggled the mind, right? So to have this guy refuse to fight all these good fighters, right? Why, why do fighters do that? Why do they do that? Because they don't believe they can win. That's why they do that. So you had this guy who didn't, obviously, didn't believe he could beat any of these top level fighters, right? Didn't believe in himself. And then you watched his fights and he would look like a million dollars for a round and a half, two, three maybe. And then fucking suck. Right? To have this guy exhibit the lack of belief in himself. The lack of belief that he could beat other top level fighters. And to, to have that confirmed by his performances in the ring. Right? Put that together. To, to still at the same time have all these fanboys promote this guy as some kind of a bogeyman or a great fighter or a skillful guy da, da, da. he was going to do this, this and that Benavides was going to beat him too or at least give a good fight <laughs> all of that went up in smoke last night right told you the guy's a fraud he was <laughs> he was a very good amateur fighter true, right? he's good for 3 or 4 rounds, that's it he never developed as a pro he was forever an amateur in many respects, remained an amateur fighter forever because he never took the challenges. The first challenge he took got put on his ass, shat his pants, shit in his pants. And then it was all downhill from that. Refused to fight good fight. Good fights and good fighters. Never developed, remained an amateur forever. You've been fooled. You 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 fell in love with the button. Whatever whatever the fuck happened to you people, you know what I mean? You've been lied to. He is not the most avoided fighter. Ever. Not even close to it. Not not the most avoided fighter in recent history. The guy was a ducker, cherry picker. He... And he never developed. As promising as he was, and I was high on Andre or way back in the day, as promising as he was, he remained an amateur forever, never developed. Because he refused to develop. He refused to take good fights that would have developed him. That would have made or broke him. And once he turned, what is he now, 36 or something? And he had no prospects for a big fight anymore because he refused to earn a big fight, weaseled his way into a Benavides fight, right? He got fucking exposed and bashed up like I told you he would because he was never that good, period. So while Benavides is a good and improving fighter... You know, and maybe I should be talking more about him. I'm not I'm not going to give him all this credit for beating a guy I was never high on. Well, haven't been high on in many, many, many years. Caleb Plant is still the best win on Benavidez's record. The um, Darrell is probably the second best. It is what it is. Andre is fourth or fifth best, maybe. Maybe. I guess we'll never know. Because he never really stepped up and never tested himself. And the first time, well, except Marta Rosian, but that was a certain level, right? So the second time he really stepped up and tested himself, what, 10 years later or something like that? He got fucking exposed. For years, we all had to endure the, the most egregious dick-sucking Nut hugging in the history of boxing, right? Given the guy's lack of skill, lack of boxing ability, lack of willingness to, to get in the ring with good opponents, lack of the desire that, that he showed last night, right? It, it was in him. It came out. But he, but he never showed that prior. And once it was time to try to earn a Canelo fight, weaseled his way into the sem semi-final. Let's just call it that for now, right? Weaseled his way into it. Polite politicked and, and weaseled and conned his way into a semi-final. And got absolutely fucking crushed. Like the hype job, the bum that he always was. 
I'm not saying he never had any talent. Right. But he he refused to work hard and develop it. And that was fucking obvious. And it was too little, too late. The other night. But he put everything he had on. It was his Hail Mary, right? It was his last chance to... It's just, whatever. Fuck Bomb Jade. Fuck all his fanboys. You, you guys were wrong, right? That's why you ain't on my videos. You, you were all the way up to the prediction, right? video you were poking the bear all the way up to the prediction and now you're nowhere to be fucking found because your boy got found out go fuck yourselves thanks for watching